my friends and welcome once again to another episode of Tony's Comfort Kitchen. Now then, uh, a few weeks ago I did a tuna melt sandwich, which is a classic uh, American sandwich as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and today I'm going to do a patty melt uh, sandwich. Um, now both are classics, I think, from the probably from the 70s uh, in America, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but they're both excellent sandwiches. Uh, and if you want to see the tuna melt sandwich, I will put a link to that at the very end of this video, so you can go and check that out. Uh, but today it's all about patty melt. Uh, now if you're American or Canadian, you'll know exactly what a, a patty melt is, I assume. If you're British, you may not know. So uh, a patty melt is, it's basically a burger, beef burger. Um, the difference between a beef burger and a patty melt is that the beef burger has a bun and the patty melt has bread. It's a sandwich. So uh, there you go. You are well informed and let's go and cook the patty melt. Okay, first of all, I am going to put a little bit of oil in a frying pan. We're going to start off by cooking some onions. Until they're the soft and golden. I'm going to put a knob of butter in there too, along with a bit of salt and some cracked black pepper. Now I'm just going to cook these down until they're, as I say, they start to change colour, they're soft and succulent and uh, releasing all that gorgeous flavour um, because these are, in my opinion, very much part of a patty belt. Look at this onion. Oh man, it looks fantastic. It's been cooking down slowly for 10 or 15 minutes and it has been wilting down and, and virtually caramelizing in its own its own sugars. Just fantastic. The flavour in this will be incredible. Okay, so we'll put that to one side and we'll get on with the, uh, the patty itself. Okay, so here I have um, the, uh, the meat for the patty. This is uh, 350 grams of uh, fairly lean beef mince. Uh, I think it's 12% uh, uh, fat in here. Uh, we want some fat, we don't want to have completely lean because fat means flavour! That's right. So, um, this actually, by the way, all the in ingredients will be in the description below as per usual. Um, now the quantity I'm making here is enough for two uh, patty melt sandwiches, so I uh, four slices of bread. But um, I'm just going to make one for the sake of the video. But this, the, the, uh, the recipe is actually for, for two, two whole sandwiches. Now then, to this beef, I'm going to put a bit of salt, some more cracked black pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder, just for extra flavour. And then, because I have clean hands, I will mash it all up. Stick that to one side. And there we have it. Now, as I say, because this is Enough for two. I'm going to split it roughly in two. Is that two? It's good enough for me. And basically, I'm just going to flatten it out into a shape that's good enough for the slice of bread that I'm going to put it on. So now it's time to cook the, uh, the burger or the patty, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's put a little bit of oil in the frying pan. Now we're going to slot the patty in. Now we'll leave that cooking for ooh, about two minutes, two and a half minutes each side. I'll keep an eye on it. I will turn it over and I think one side's fully cooked. Okay, I have to admit I've forgotten what time it was and I don't know how long it's been cooking for. <laughs> but it should be about Two minutes, two and a half minutes. So uh, now is the time to turn it over. Yeah. 
Okay, that is the burger done. So I will take it out and it is now time to build the sandwich. Now then, I've cut already two slices of bread and I have buttered uh, these slices. So I'm going to put the buttered side down in the pan. Then I'm going to add two slices of tasty melty cheese. In this case, it was a red Leicester. Feel free to use whatever you want. Then we put our burger on top. Then, excuse my fingers, to these amazing sliced onion. Or onion, I keep saying onions, plural. It's one onion. Why not another two slices of melty cheese? And finally, the other slice of very, very thick bread. Uh, again, buttered side up. I'll give it a wee squash. We'll cook it on a low heat, low to medium heat, for a few minutes until the bread toasts. Now then, hopefully that's done. And I've got to turn this over now without the whole thing going flying, um, which is a small pan, so it's not easy. But here we go. One, two, three. Woo! Okay, and that is our patty melt done. Now what we need to do is take it off and slice it up. Oh my god. Juices. <gasps> okay, okay, so here we are. I will start to cut it. And hopefully everything will be hunky dory inside. Oh yes, lovely, mm -mm. okay my friends, that is my version of a patty melt. Okay, I'm about to dig into this, oh, I don't know if you can see this, a lot of melted cheese, oh, it certainly has the right name, patty melt. And that beef just looks fantastic. So, excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. 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 Didn't get any beef. Mm. Mm. Those onions are just incredible. Excuse me, I've got to get the beef this time. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. That beef with those onions and that cheese. Oh, what can I say? It's an absolute American classic. 70s or otherwise, I don't know. But it is wonderful. Please give this a go. Simple to do. Perfect for a midweek uh, dinner. Alongside some, some chips, fries, whatever you want to call them. Or a salad. Uh, but... Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Please, oh, look at it, look at it. Just give this a go and let me know in the comments below how you get on. And I will see you in the next video. So uh, peace and love, my friends. Peace and love. <laughs>